soon you will enjoy the fabled hospitality of the dwarves. Roaring fires, malt beer, red meat off the bone. This, my friend, is the home of my cousin Balin, and they call it a mine. A mine! So I wasn't going to do a dwarf video, literally in the last one where I played as Gorkil the Goblin King, which was a great video, I enjoyed that one a lot. I talked about how most of the dwarf starts were either too easy or they were too hard, uh, in the case of Valin, who we, we will be playing as today, because one of you, one of you kind viewers, suggested a method to me, you're not sure if it still works, because I believe they added a struggle here uh, for Durin's Bane, or with Durin's Bane, the Balrog, basically. However, there's supposedly a strategy that can allow you to survive long enough to build up some forces and then retake Moria properly. So I'm going to try that out. Well, I don't know how it's going to go. This video might be very short if it goes poorly, but you will at least get to see my attempt. So here we go. So we're going to be playing as Balin, son of Fundin, cousin of Gimli, and Dwalin, um, a bunch of the dwarves. Actually, I think he has Oin with him on this journey. I don't know if it's Oin or Gloin. I think it might be Oin, but we're going to find out. Anyway... Against the wishes of his king, the liege lord Balin set out to reclaim the ancient dwarven realm of Moria. While initially seeing great success, the expedition seems in the last several years to have become cursed. Parties go missing in the deeps of the misty mountains, miners' corpses turn up lacerated, and new colonists from Erebor have slowed to a trickle. And it is rumored that in the depths lurk goblins waiting for the expedition to misstep. Seeking guidance, Balin plans to gaze into the depths of the Miromer, in hopes of receiving a signal of what he might do to avert the slow death of his colony. Though the dwarves knew it not, a darkness lurked beneath the deepest depths of Khazadum, a Balrog of Morgoth. Historically awakened in TA 1980, hell yeah, by the delving of the Longbeards for Mithril under Durin VI, it slew the Dwarf King and was thereafter known as Durin's Bane. The Durin's Bane struggle depicts the relationship of the Balrog of Moria with the inhabitants of the Great Mountain Kingdom. All who try to control the mountain must contend with the various moods of the demon unless it is slain or otherwise handled. We shall cleanse it from these hallowed halls by Mahal. And here we are. We are in the game. We are playing as Balin, son of Fundin, and cousin, or brother rather, to Dwalin. This is Dwalin. Okay, and if you recall, you might remember him from um, the, the Hobbit movie or the Hobbit book if, you, if you've ever read it. And if you look at our council here. You can actually see Ori and Oin, two of the other members of that as well. So I'm going to actually switch him to my lore master because what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim this. They are not involved in this struggle over here. As you can see, we have a bit of a Durin's Bane struggle. What I'm going to try and do and what is supposedly the method is that you relocate to down here. And then you can uh, you can get some some luck that way. I'm going to also invite some knights. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't mind getting human knights if we have to have humans in here. Because apparently we have nobody at all. Uh, let's let's do Nolly because she's got a couple good traits. It looks like she's got greedy, diligent, and compassionate. So she's got at least decent stewardship. That should give us a little bit of a boost. And then I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do stewardship. And focus on uh, acquiring as much wealth as possible. I know he has a diplomacy perk, but... It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, do we have any knights that we can hire? But we have one. I mean, we we need as many as we can get. This guy would be actually be a pretty decent spy master or a counselor. Let's do. Let's do chancellor. Have him work on domestic affairs. Uh, a nice marshal would also be good, but none of these guys are really good at it. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure this out as we go. Obviously, we have these. Um, we have nobody else right now, so we're gonna have to wait. We will station them because we, we might as well. At the moment, we're just going to have to wait. We get a pretty good defensive bonus from what I understand, so we're just going to chill down here and then hopefully be able to make it through. I am the Lord of Moria. Balin of the Company of Thorn Oakenshield has set out on a grand quest once more to reclaim the ancient dwarven capital of Khazadum from the orcish stragglers that crawled out of their caverns once more after the fateful battle of Azalnu Bizarre. I don't know if I said that right, and I apologize. Setting forth from Erebor with a great company of dwarves against the wishes of King Dane, Balin traveled south and then west along the old forest road, passing through danger and strife beneath the bows of Mirkwood, before finally emerging and facing a fierce fight to gain entry to Khazadum. The company may be diminished, but our valor and ambition are not. We have taken the 21st Hall. We now have gotten a little bit of a boost. 
We've gotten some gold, so we are going to add a... Let's add a nice one. Let's see. Who's got a decent defensive bonus? All of these do. Heavy infantry are probably the best move. The long axes would probably be like our best bet, and then maybe grab some Ongers as well, or Mangano rather. And that way we can uh, like fortify our numbers up a bit here. And I'm actually going to station these guys because they have a little bit more armor. That 98 armor might might uh, end up saving the day here for us. Do we have any more knights? Oh, we do have somebody else. We do have another guy here. Okay, let's see. I actually. Oh, okay. Here we go. Quite a bit of courtiers have jumped in the fray so we have one person here nobody's really good enough to be this yet so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait this guy's actually a little better than him so i'm gonna put windolf windolf there and then um we'll just put him as our as our marshal for now he's not very good but it should help us out at least a little bit so we're just gonna go ah we got another event so I, I don't remember them having all these events so it looks like they added a little bit i was born among the children of mahal adopted children of eru the steadfast dwarves our fathers shaped us in dark times and as such we are hardier than men and more resistant to illnesses and corruption we are long-lived and slow to bloom we consider our youths to be no more than children until the age of the majority at 40. And that it is inappropriate to marry before the age of 70. Dwarves of both genders wear beards since birth, and a dwarf without a beard is the object of much shame and mockery. Kuzdul, our sacred language devised by the Maker himself, is never spoken in front of non-dwarves and reserved for ancient lore and solemn gatherings. In everyday life, we adopt the language of our closest neighbors and business partners. Though we do not fear the sun like the orcs, we are most comfortable beneath the ground, where we carve halls in the living rock. Many of our ancestral homes have been destroyed, and now... Is the time to reclaim them. Baruch Kazad, Kazad a menu. Very nice. Look at this. The, the art too from the, in the back is really really nice. The children of Mahal. Okay, so we are now married. Let's get a little extra gold from our dearest wife. Yeah, that little one per month will give us a little something. We're we're little we're dipping a little close to our maximum limit here. So definitely want to. Uh, Yes, I will definitely collect, and I'm going to hold on to that while this guy is collecting money, hopefully. So this guy came, he heated our summons, he's actually really good, so we're going to um, recruit to court. He would also make a pretty, I know I said I was going to save it, but he would make a really good marshal as well. He should be able to boost our troops up. Okay, so we got a decent, uh, Ori's not very good. My chance, or what's Ori's diplomacy skill? Actually, we can do this. Sorry, Ori. You're not very good at, at that, so you're just going to have to be a knight. Although, might be able to get some decent people up in here. Okay. Yeah, shy, content. I feel like that's good for Ori. He's a little slow. I feel like I'm talking quietly so the Balrog doesn't hear me. Oh, here we go. The deeps of Chamber of Mazar Bull have been troubled of late. Subtle tremors have been felt rumbling through the earth. While occasionally a distant roar echoes through the caverns, while none have seen the Balrog yet, few of the folk of Chamber of Mazarbul can doubt it is nearby. They also report that the tremors and noise grow louder and more furious as their own levels of activities increase. They are wary of the risks of further activity and ask for my guidance. Let the temporary halt... Um, let's, let's do this. I'm kind of curious. See it done. Nice. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to move. Willie, a free tenant renting some of the land of the Chamber of Mazarbul, has pulled in an exceptional harvest this season due to his meticulous planning. He wishes to use some of his profits to purchase a piece of my estate for me so that he can build upon his success and grow more crops. I'm going to I'm going to say he can do that and I'm going to do this and then while I'm doing that, I'm going to oh, I can't. I don't know if I'd be able to attack him. Would we be able to take them on is the problem. So I just had this thought. I I don't think I'd actually be able to take this yet because I, I'd have to have 832 troops. We don't have that yet, so we're probably just going to have to chill. Um, I, I do need money, but let's let's mint new coins in my own visage, I guess. Give me some, some, some something. And then we'll just wait. We have a bit of a struggle leading. We're in the wandering phase. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't think I'd be able to take this yet. We're gonna have to wait until we have enough troops I don't think that I'd have a problem fighting them. I just don't have enough to take the garrison I need another 300 troops. I get an unclass unpressed claim really on Burrow of the shattered spire Yeah, but I couldn't fight that dude. Oh boy 
The earth groans in the chamber of Mazarbul, tremors great and strong rumbling through the earth. To great dismay, they have proven sufficient to destroy at full halls and buildings. I have hurriedly assembled the chief engineers of chamber, hoping to discuss how to prevent such damage in the future. After a furious discussion between architects, engineers, and stone singers, eventually plans are drawn up to rebuild and reinforce the building in chamber of Mazarbul. Yet looking at the plans, the sheer labor and gold required to reinforce the existing structures, let alone to rebuild the destroyed, makes me feel faint. Can the treasury bear such expenses however necessary? There's a 60% chance we would lose our, our main building. So now we have to just sort of grin and bear it, I guess. And I've somehow lost troops again. I could have swore we had over 400, and now we have 347. And maybe if we wait for one of them to attack us, and then they have to pay us money, we might be able to turn around and go here and then take that. That might actually be the way we have to do this. As I traverse empty chambers and halls, occasionally losing my bearings, I pick up a light whistle, yet at once the air seems to choke me. My whistle stops, for my heart has seemingly leapt into my throat. Diving behind a doorway, I close my eyes as the malice in the air grows thick, the temperature spiking. After a time, it seems to dissipate, and I hurriedly make in the opposite direction. Yet in my panic, my eyes pay little attention to the ground. Tripping over a broken piece of masonry, I hit the ground hard, letting out a groan of pain. I struggle to my feet, but not without injury. I have been wounded in the dark. And now I'm not wounded. I gain tax man. It's gotta help us a little bit. Let's try to make it bigger. Nice. So now our development will go up at least a little bit. I think our development is pretty low. It's only a three. Yeah, increasing the development actually might be the way to go, but I'm a little worried that... Yeah, okay, well, I'm not losing any taxes by doing that. I can't even murder an orc because I'm compassionate? How does that make sense? The Burrow of the Crumbling Halls. I ended up getting a claim on that as well. My wife is pregnant. About to have a little baby. Apparently my house is feuding with the Barakad, who are a... Oh, they live nearby. Those are, those are humans. Defensive measures. That actually might help us out a little bit. One day I'm approached by Fjord and Thurisir. They tell me they have been recently having terrible calamitous dreams. They do not remember the fine details, just shadows and flames and a bone deep terror. They think it must surely be the Balrog's influence, reaching even into their dreams, warning them away from this place. They ask now for my counsel and guidance. How should they interpret these dreams? How should they respond to them? But they hold a portent too dire to ignore. The dreams show the Balrog fears us. Take heart. I comforted them with a bold lie. Oh, let me let me teach him. Let me teach my baby, I guess. My my son Thror, who is apparently you're born with a beard if you're a dwarf, so that's an interesting tidbit. The delegation from the leaders of the Chamber of Mazabul have been sought me out. They report the chamber has been filled with distant, terrible roaring. I just I just got out of debt. You shall have your guards and weapons. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. I got nicknamed the Elder because I'm. Apparently old. The Axe of Durin was a precious heirloom of the Dwarven clan of Durin's folk. It was the Axe of Durin III who witnessed the fall of Ergion and fought Sauron's forces to defend its refuges. Refugees, I don't know why I said that. Wonderfully crafted of Dwarven steel, intricately decorated with mithril and runes of power, traced out of Ithildin. Yeah. By his friend Celebrimbor, it is believed to never lose its edge. The Axe of Durin was lost when Durin VI fell to the Balrog in khazad and we have recovered it. We also have Durin's helmet. Was crowned in mass great helm made by him, made for himself by Durin the First, the Deathless. After the discovery of Mithril and Kazadum, it is as light on the head as a simple hood, but not even a scratch is visible on its polished surface. Durin the Sixth was wearing the helmet when he fell to the Balrog and Kazadum. Well, that increased our pow our prowess quite a bit. I don't think it's going to do much else for us. I really don't see how we how we get out of this one. Because we would need 750. I just, I just do not have any, any potential idea, any inkling. <laughs> a, gr a book of grudges. I stole something called the book of grudges. My wife is trying to leave. What? She wants to, uh, she wants to go to this guy's court because she's scared of the Balrog. I'm gonna tell her no. I'm gonna tell her she has to stay with me. Please, you must. You cannot leave me. I did this all for you, my darling. Nobody's attacking anybody, and these guys are all getting to, uh... Do whatever they want, and I'm getting no money. Oh my god. We're gonna confiscate the religious goods. Fickle? Fickle's probably not amazing, but whatever. I mean, I have no... that doesn't matter. I'm apparently befriending an orc. So what about plots, huh? 
I've learned about intrigue from an orc. I'm... I have really, really grown as a person. As a, as a dwarf, I've grown. Is he fickle and brave? It's a bit odd. Alright, we're getting one per turn now. Should we build a building instead? Yeah, dwarven gauntlets might actually help us out. Oh, we got a brilliant gemstone, actually. That is super useful. Let's debase it. Nice, hell yeah. Um, sh uh, what can we add? I feel like we should get these, but they, everything's only 80. And I worry that it's going to be too expensive, so I'm just going to add these guys for now. Of course, it's still too expensive. He's lustful. How about Gregarious? Gregarious is fine. We are surviving by the skin of our teeth. What does increased defenses do? Let's save the money for now. We're building a road now, apparently. They're having a peasant rebellion. As soon as I can get a second territory, I feel like we could actually survive this. This guy actually might be weak enough for us to take as well. Cold Forges, does he have a, oh my god, 1230? Jesus Christ, 750? It's gonna take me forever. We got a new perk. We have detailed leisures and we're about to get fearful troops. I'm trying to get the end of the avaricious one. It's been 22 years and we haven't actually made any progress. Just wanted to point that out. I've been really trying, but an influx of serfs has arrived in the chamber from the narrow, no, really? I mean, I guess I'll keep them, but this is your fault. He's mad at me for stealing his serfs. I feel like this is not going to go well for me. With vivid clarity, I remember when I lost the Battle of the Chamber of Marzabul against Big Boss Garni of Fang. Oh, yep. I should learn to be flexible. I've learned how to be a flexible leader, which gives you a defender advantage. <laughs> I, I recalled the memory of when I got my absolute face fucking kicked in. That, it was terrible. Well, Balin was murdered by Big Boss because he's allowed to do it, but I'm not. I think it's time we have our retribution then. Oh my god. One day I will avenge you, father. So we're now playing as Zibdin Thror of Balin's Expedition. Ugh, what a bummer, dude. I don't think we're gonna be able to fight against that. Oh, actually. Get absolutely wrecked, my guy. The past few weeks, a new story has been working its way through the chamber of... Uh, it is said that some go missing in the night, yet never to be seen again. Yet they seem to be a common connection, the story says. The rumors argue the Balrog has taken and slain them, dragging them off in the depths of the night. The reasoning being that the disappearances have purportedly happened at the hours when the Balrog is believed to be most active. We can become reclusive. We shall implement a curfew until the disappearances stop. The skies bode ill, the winds wail, and my servants shake before the coming maelstrom. An awful day to be traveling the wilderness. Shabby hovels dominate this strange corner of land. Filthy and tiny. We've come upon a lonely... Why would I come to his house? Um, we're gonna be... Why would I ever try to go into his house? That's that's straight goofy. Bon appetit. I hope he dies. And he's dead. Very nice. You could just keep murdering them, actually. And then weakening them. And that might actually be our method now, because Balin was like, Oh, but I have moral conundrums, but I'm over here like, I don't care. I will murder you. Oh, I haven't picked a thing. Let's do martial. Let's do... Let's do strategy focus. Sire, our group of miners have uncovered the entrance to a vast cavern system. They fear to explore it further without your leave. Shall it be done? I'm gonna go. We're gonna go. I'll lead the expedition myself. Ah oh, ha ha ha. This guy wants a duel. I beat him. Increase my prowess by one. Do I have the stuff in? Oh yeah, I do have the stuff equipped. We've also proven that we can defend ourselves now against these big forces. Oh, a nice honey cake. I don't, I don't want to eat any cake. He knows I'm trying to murder him. Oh. All right. 
I increased our fort level once again by one by getting the enduring hardships. The Balrog's presence disrupts the water supply to a crucial part of Moria. The court is concerned about the immediate need to clean water. Oh. We're going to pay to restore it, which apparently just costs. So what are we heading towards? It looks like we're heading towards the dormant phase. There's more points in that, which would be good. Oh, why do they keep getting discovered? What about this guy? We might be able to murder him. He worships the Balrog, I think. Oh, there's no, there's no chance. I like how in both of these games that I've tried to do, either it be the Goblin King or it be Balin, they both die. They both get murdered by somebody. Much lurks in the darkness of the depths of this world, some innocuous and just as many not so. I walk through a lower level of the hold, a small lantern, my soul light. So far down, few venture here these days, and for good reason. The very shadows seem disquiet and at times even malicious. I hear a distant noise, but cannot pinpoint the direction. A shiver runs down my spine as I spin and hurriedly move my head to and fro, desperate to find the source of the noise. Yet for all my searching, I find not. Yet the shadows feel even deeper than before. It says 30% chance of. But it didn't say of what. In my efforts to map out the ancient mines and uncover if any major ore veins remain uh, that we could easily revive, one such expedition has now gone missing. Falling, failing to return at the scheduled time. It has been almost two weeks since they left. Hmm. Many in the court whisper that it must surely be the Balrog or perhaps goblins. The court fears that if I send further expeditions, they will suffer a similar fate. And now counseling me that I should put a hold. We'll put a hold on him for now. I'm trying to get to that dormant phase for now. So that way the Balrog doesn't come up and start eating me. Oh, he's actually really weak. Does he have anything that I could actually take? Oh, see, 750 is the minimum for all of these. I just need a little bit more, like some, just a little more troops. We have a pretty decent garrison here that we can hold off people with, but I, I really need levies. All right, I'm gonna try and murder this guy. If you hear that, yes, I did reload just now. Something bad happened. Don't ask me questions. I'm gonna do something that's probably controversial. I'm gonna sell Durin's helm. I don't wanna hear you cry. I don't wanna hear it. I don't want to hear you be like, oh my god, how could you do this? How could you do this? It's because I have to. Okay, I have to. I'm going to save the rest because I know I'm going to need it. And I'm going to attack the shit out of this guy. And I'm going to actually... Oh, became a holy warrior. I'm going to actually start taking some of these halls. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to win, okay? We're going to win. I don't care. I need the money, though, so that I can actually have enough troops. Should we... Let's just get this up, like... Let's just get like a thousand. A solid thou. And then we'll we'll strike. When the iron is hot. Okay, we have enough. I'm a little nervous to see how this goes. Uh, don't even I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm not gonna save before this. We're gonna see what happens. Let's see if Thror can do what his father could not. Let's see if he dies. Nice. Oh, I just need to take something. There's a dog in one of the backyards over here that's like freaking out. Seven months. What if I made it myself? Four. Three. Oh my god, are they going to kill me so that I can't actually take it? Alright, thank god. It's over. The Burrow of Crumbling Hall. We can station a men-at-arms regiment. I'm going to station them here. Let's slow it down now. So we managed to take a hall. Oh. Dane died of old age at the age of 274. That's actually wild. This should give us some. Why do I have a low popular opinion? Oh. I have gained the trait Scarred. Well, that's not bad. Apparently they added it uh, in the new DLC that's going to be added. They have like different levels of Scarred, which I think is cool. So we have the central halls now. And we have the chamber of Mazarbul. Mm. 
This should be able to give us some levies, but apparently it's giving us zero because of the marauding orc drags. Like, I can't really get rid of... Oh, this is just slave. Let's just cave in. Okay. Increase my stewardship by one. He's got pretty poor everything. To be fair, he's not actually amazing. Whereas Balin was pretty good, but he was just too compassionate. It's a really slow burn. I gotta say. It's heading towards the wandering phase again. I can take most of them. I feel like we're... Oh. I think I just turned 40. Kill the Balrog. Your power is at least 30. Uh, oh my god, having the helmet of Durin's Bane? No! I can't believe we destroyed it! Well, somebody should have told me that. I would have kept the helmet and got rid of the axe. I figured the axe mattered more. He improved the Axe of Doran. I think it gives you even more prowess. So I have an idea. His heir is Dwalin. What if I fight the Balrog, die, and then I take over as Dwalin? This is this is the most jank way you could probably ever do this. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> the Balrog of Moria. We're not going to win. We're not even going to read any of this. Uh, I'm going to. It says I have a 65% chance of dying. There's a 10% chance, however, that I kill it. Long have we labored, and now as all is ready. Not really. Even if taken by surprise while slumbering, Durin's Bane will not fall lightly. If slow countless dwarves in the fall of khazad and there is not a dwarf realm of its like in the world of today. Yet we have chosen the hard route, through shadow and flame, that we might avenge all of our fallen and bring about a new dawn to these shadowed halls. Many tears have been shed, my friends been lost to bring us to this point. We stand now on the precipice of its slumbering lair. If we cross the threshold, there is no going back. I have died. After a failed attempt by the late High Lord Thror of Balin's expedition to slay it while it was sleeping, the Balrog has been roused. It's still somewhat disconcerted from the sudden awakening, but it's swiftly beginning to patrol its self-claimed realm. It will be some time before it will put down its guard again, considering this attack. Blast it all. Alright, so now I am playing as... Beautiful Dwalin. Probably should have just tried that in the first place. Um, but Dwalin actually makes enough money to where we can... Uh, he's not technically participating, I don't think. Oh, no, he is. There we go. Oh, wait. He's on. So we're going to just chill. But however, I have plenty of troops now. So now we can just sort of... Uh, we can just kind of put our feet up. Oh, wait. He's got... He's got crazy stats already. Good lord. We'll do... Um, We'll do, we'll do diplomacy, because we, we're going to try and get this uh, defensive negotiations. Why is it disabled? Oh. Yeah, let's replace this. Let's make this um, a... These need something... Does not have to scrape the sky building. Ah... Uh, you have to upgrade the building more to be able to build stuff like that. I see. We'll just do a quarry then. It'd be weird if Dwalin actually did come over here, but uh, see it done. No, I'm sorry. You are losing your life today, my friend. And we're still not losing money. God, absolutely get obliterated, get decimated, my man. I'm going to also start working on these ones. I know he's active, so I should probably chill. My set has been returned. We have a new hall, which we can now work to replenish, replace, and rejuvenate the orcs flee. This still has marauding orc dregs, but that's fine. I don't think we can actually, um... It actually says we can colonize this. Castle of Durin's Hall. Let's see if we can't... I can station some men-at-arms. Oh, that's true, huh? He's got a decent amount of troops. I kind of want to see if we can colonize this. So I, I've taken Durin's Hall. 
I think I'm going to grant this to somebody. Apparently he was malnourished for some reason, so I'm going to have him gain some weight. He's got good... He's got good health modifiers, though. I was wondering why he's looking so thin. Nithurger. Oh my god, he's Herculean. Does he have any alliances? Yeah, I already do. My son. Look at his glorious beard. Yeah, defensive negotiations should be fine. We should be able to actually sway. Let's try and sway Elrond, and then when we make him our friend, we can try and um, ally ourselves with him. Something... Uh, there was a sound behind a boulder. What was that sound? Oh my god. As I walk around the boulder, I hear piercing screams of pain. When I get to the source of the screams, I see the remains of the battle that just ended. Bodies of dead goblins lay strewn about in the... Oh my god, there's a sense. Little dwarf. Help me, I will try to save you. Oh wait, I don't know why I raised my forces. There's nothing I can do about that. Did I accept? Oh man, we gotta get to- we gotta get wandering. Let's see. We now have defensive negotiations. Let me see if I can propose an alliance. It says he will say yes. Nice. And then this one, if I can maybe... Oh, you can only have one proposed alliance at a time. The halls of the chambers are silent, no hammers ring, no picks dig into the ground, the songs fail. Where once there was activity in life, now there is only silence born of deep and abiding fear. The many incursions of the bower have laid into the upper levels of the chambers have massively cut back on the amount of economic activity in an attempt to avoid its ire. They are doing the bare minimum required to survive, but otherwise huddle in dark corners and pray to for safety and deliverance. So far, their prayers have been answered and no devastation has been visited on them, but the complete halt of nigh all activity has resulted in a total economic shutdown, which will paralyze the province for months, if not years to come. Well, actually, let's do an armor one. I'm curious to see what we make. I don't actually know how this works. I've never tried this out, so. So you like, you like mess with it. You like click your modifiers and you're like, oh yeah, night limit. Interesting. That's a really cool feature, actually. We're getting close to Armageddon. Just gotta chill. Or an Armageddon wandering. This is not part of it, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. I probably would recover the mines just because that seems like the smartest thing to do. I know you can only do two. The Castle Hall of a Thousand Pillars actually maybe makes more sense than... Because Durin's Hall, Castle Hall of a Thousand Pillars, those might be the best moves because you can only recover so many. Jesus. This one, it just starts going from hall to hall, just yeeting people. Oh no, that actually did something? Oh, I can't, I can't mess with this anymore then. I gotta leave it. Durin's Hall got attacked by the Balrog. He just, he just ran in there and yeeted it. What does the Kingdom of Moria constitute? Dang. It's huge. I didn't realize it was that long. Oh no, no. It's not actually that big. I'm gonna try and just get claims on everything. And then... We'll, uh, we'll try and move around from there, I guess. The defensive bonuses over here are insane. See it done. Just keep on going. We're gonna wait till he's in the wandering phase and then I'll attack them. I might be able to just knock them all out in one go. I'm like, w I'm like worried to do anything, but I, f I do fear that if I don't... It's still not going to make a difference. It's so close. The yearly drifts should be wandering realistically. I don't even want to build anything. I don't want to do anything. I'm just waiting. The wandering phase is leading now. Ooh, that's good. Got a lucky event. Didn't show it because we've seen it before. But uh, we are now 100% wandering. Or at 100 wandering. So, pretty solid. Going to keep on claiming territories. I love that dwarves have... Like, they have beards all the time. It honestly tickles me. The development of this is now 13. It's pretty good, actually. All right, now we have a claim on everything, I think, over here. Yeah. Once he gets to the wandering, or once his wandering is over, then we can, um, or once he's in wandering, I should say, then we can, we can probably start moving. 
So, so apparently there's a cult worshiping the um, the <laughs> worshiping the Balrog. This guy approaches me one day after a meal. After the fires have died, I sit in my chair thinking he has a maniac look in his eyes, a terrible fanaticism boiling under the surface. My least, surely you can understand. Why should we resist the will of the divine? Join me in repentance, and you may be spared from the hour of judgment. Confess your sins and submit yourself to Harus. I feel distinctly off kilter, but before I respond, Isbad Nia of Zurinkuk wanders off, muttering and giggling under his breath. I'd heard rumors, but now, here they are before my very eyes. I let's hope it doesn't spread. It's nearly there, nearly at the wandering. Greer has abandoned us? What? Are you serious? He just, he stripped everything and he just dipped? That's fucking garbage. What? <laughs> that is truly bonkers. You're gonna convert back. You're not gonna be worshipping this weird shit anymore. Yeah, exactly. I was given an old signet ring for my birthday, which will help pay for some of the repairs done by that dude dipping on us. I'm, I'm still, I'm, it's still up in the air on whether we'll actually be able to, uh, survive this or not. I know that he's probably gonna get pissed, but if I don't do too much, should be okay. I'm gonna do those three at the same time. I know that's probably not good, but... It's been 74 years. We gotta start making some progress. So it looks like there's two ways to end this. You can either be an orc, and then you can serve the Balrog, which is actually really cool. But all the dwarves have to be gone. Uh, or you can kill it, like we tried to do earlier. So I'm gonna try and kill it. We have to get this to dormant, which I don't actually know if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and craft one of these artifacts. I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna get here, but... Oh, I don't know why I have prowess plus two, three, twice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, because of the mithril. Okay, I see. Let me see. Let's do... Let's do heavy infantry toughness. That should be good. And maybe retreat losses. And yeah, we'll just do this. We'll give it a shot. Enemy fatal casualties, yeah. Okay. It's gonna take 534 days to make that. Jesus. Okay, so we got our armor artifact. Actually, it looks pretty sweet. It does a pretty good job. I mean, plus three prowess, men at arms maintenance is less, fatal casualties, heavy. I mean, it's pretty cool you can just make them. It's kind of like, kind of like the commission artifact, but you get a little bit more. Oh my god, how much stuff do we have? Oh, that went into smithing too. Oh, that's cool. Also, we became a hashish smoker or a weed smoker because we were sad. You know, it's the way it goes. Okay, so now I'm friends with Elrond. So I think. I think that should give us a chance. If we die to the Balrog when we have to fight it, I don't even give a sh I don't care where that's going to be at. We, it's taken 96 years. We have a few more years to go before he goes dormant, but I think we I think we have a good shot. So it's taken so long that apparently Sauron is dead. I have no idea what the fuck happened. Holy shit. In a shocking display of strength of arms, the forces of Gondor have marched on Mordor, sacking the Dark Tower and felling the Dark Lord in the heart of his power. The Dark Tower, deprived of its master, swiftly collapsed, devastating the area. In the aftermath of the Great Battle, whatever unity there was in the Dark Lord's domain swiftly began to unravel. Their leadership decapitated. The former servants of the Dark Lord have quickly begun to turn on each other, orc and man, signaling a new era of warfare in the former lands of Sauron. Simultaneously, the loss of their god has caused a severe crisis of faith for the followers of the Lidless Eye. Many swiftly turned away to other faiths, and the few that were left quickly tore each other apart, jockeying for power. The cult of the Lidless Eye, once preeminent faith of Mordor, and all Sauron's domain has been all but extinguished in the aftermath. A new age is upon us, one which seems like it shall be dominated by a resurgent kingdom of the Dunedain. Whatever else, the power of Mordor is broken, irrevocably, perhaps forever. Dang, Aragorn is 168 years old, Jesus. Dawn is breaking, the shadow is passing. Well, damn, what, what the fuck's up with the Balrog? Kill, die. So after a ridiculously long time, 106 years in game, I don't even know how Dwalin is alive. 334, everybody thinks he's impossibly old. We're gonna see if we can kill the Balrog. If we don't, you know, it's whatever. We, we tried, we did our best. We didn't get yeeted by orcs. So, I mean, I consider that a success anyway. 
but we have to we have to see i cannot believe i destroyed this helmet um we control a lot of moria we have an elf friend we have really high prowess he has 75 prowess so we'll uh, we'll have to see oh it's over i i would i would pretend that i'm not relieved but I, i'd be lying to the shock and amazement of all, Durin's bane, the Balrog, has fallen at the hands of Uzbed Dwalin of Khazadun. Long had the Balrog cast its shadow over the ancient dwarf realm of Moria, and few dared to brave its depths, allowing goblins and orcs to infest it. It was derided by many as foolhardy to try to reclaim the realm, deeming only a great power that mere mortals able to accomplish this task. Yet Dwalin has proven such doubts. Dwalin has crowned himself king of Moria, and already dwarves from across the world speak of the need of colonists for the kingdom and of the riches which are yet to be reclaimed. This may be the start of a great golden age for the dwarves. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that was... I'm not even gonna lie. 107 in-game years. I I don't even know. I don't know how we did it. it. has the same court as Erebor, which is really cool. Looks fantastic. Oh. And there you have it. I don't know. It took a long time. Balin died. His son tried to kill the Balrog. Died. Took another 60 years in game before we had enough strength to actually take the rest of it, but the RNG gods smiled on us. We managed to kill the Balrog, and it's over. I hope this was entertaining. This took me a long time to record, like three hours, so uh, you better you better give it a little like or I'll cry. Okay, thanks. Um, I, I don't even know what to say at this point, so I'm Soul. This has been something, and I'll happily see you in the next one.